At some point, your life is going to get hard. You're not going to see a way out. Everything that can happen will happen. You'll be devastated. You'll be distraught. And you'll think, this is it for me. This is the end. But in that moment, you'll have a choice. You can either stay down or you can get up and fight. One more time. If you can pull yourself together and go at it again, you can get through it. You will get through it. You just got to decide that you're not going to quit. That's what happens in life. All you do is you fall down, get back up again, fall down, get back up again, fall down, get back up again. That's how you win. Things are going to get harder. Things are going to get tougher. That's the way life works. So what you need to do is you need to get harder and you need to get tougher. If you can pick yourself up every single time you get knocked down, you can make it. Even if you're in the middle of a disaster, you can use that disaster for direction. It is through the disaster, it is through the adversity that our strength is developed. If everything went the way you wanted it to go, you wouldn't have anything to exercise by. It's a gymnasium of life where you get the workout, the resistance. You find out things about yourself that you didn't know. I'm stronger than I thought I was. I'm more resilient than I thought I was. Life keeps changing. And as life keeps changing and seasons keeps changing and circumstances keep changing, you got to be flexible enough to change on a dime and switch this way and turn back this way and if you don't make the right switch you find yourself stuck the thing you need to win is resilience you can't just keep trying different stuff different stuff different stuff because you can never say something didn't work when you didn't have try greatness takes time it takes time to build your brand it takes time to build your life it takes time to build your career you got to be prepared to get a thousand no's to get one yes so stop feeling sorry for yourself over what challenges are thrown at you this is a part of the process it is part of the journey how will you ever grow if you never have any pressure you should be thanking the universe for putting you through this because these problems you're having these are the greatest opportunities to get stronger when you're committed when you're invested when you're all in you can't throw in the towel you can't just walk away because you won't quit when you got some skin in the game you won't just walk away easy you don't violate the covenant when things get tough because you got some skin in the game when you don't have nothing invested it's easy to walk away see sometimes some people only want it without struggle but if you're serious about reeling it in you have to put some effort get up Compete! Many of y'all are not competing. I need effort. Compete! Many of you have lost your competitive edge. Get your competitive edge back. You're not giving 120. You're giving 70. You're giving 60. You're giving 50. And you won't with these people who've given sweat, who's given blood, who's given tears. You won't what they pay for, and it ain't free. I am not phenomenally skilled, but phenomenally will. I will not give up. I will not surrender. I will not quit. And your problem is you give it up too easy. I need effort from you. I need you to match whatever effort the enemy is putting up. Whoever your enemy is, match the dog on effort. Almost everybody can stay excited for two or three months. A few people can stay excited for two or three years. But a winner will stay excited forever. People want to follow a leader that's positive, that's aggressive, that's enthusiastic, that's tough. They have a change the world kind of desire and determination. Their attitude is bring it on. The tougher, the better. They understand you don't get what you want or what you'd love to have. Life gives you what you'll accept. If you'll accept being average and ordinary, that's exactly what you're going to get. But the winners, they expect to win. They demand for themselves happiness and success and fulfillment. They always have a can-do attitude. You can turn your life around if you change your attitude. You change your attitude, you change your altitude. The reason you can't stop is because you might be so close. Wouldn't it be a shame for you to quit when you're this close? Wouldn't it be a shame for you to walk away when you come this far? Wouldn't it be horrible for you to bail out when you're just this close to victory? You can't walk by what you see. You can't give up because it doesn't feel good. You can't let people talk you out of it. You can't let your emotions stop you from moving forward.